The shelter, funded by the Social Security Commission of Namibia, was inaugurated last year to accommodate expectant mothers from rural areas while waiting to deliver. Kachana Skanda, a senior registered nurse and member of the management team responsible for nursing services at the hospital, said about 21 expectant mothers have so far made use of the facility since its inauguration. Staff members at the hospital cleaned up the shelter on Friday to ready it to house more patients. Skanda said the shelter will reduce health complications that could occur during childbirth at home. To reduce the, the home deliveries in the, in the villages, because most mothers, they deliver at home and then they get complications. Sometimes you see that the baby dies. So when the maternity waiting shelter is, function, is fully functioning, all those women will come to the maternity waiting shelter and wait nearby the hospital where when the labor starts, they just proceed to the hospital. And also to reduce the maternal and maternal and neonatal death. You know, when the mother delivers at home, there can be bleeding that can cause the mother to die, or maybe the, they, they won't be a care that can be given to that baby who's born. Sharon Yambe, a 22-year-old expectant mother from Sabelo in the Linyanti constituency, says she is relieved to be accommodated at the shelter as the clinic in her area was too small. There is water available and showers so that you can make use of as much as you need. We have a place to sleep with beds and everything. As for the blankets, if you don't have any, they will provide some for you, including mosquito net. Another 22-year-old, Messi Lipua, who is also nearing her delivery date, is from Goma. I feel all right being here because one never knows. I could go through some kind of problem, but at least I would be closer to the hospital. The village is quite far and that's why I came here. Expectant mothers who are provided with almost everything except for food also receive a medical checkups okay. twice a week. They appeal to the local business community to assist in meeting the hospital services halfway, especially to assist pregnant women who cannot afford groceries. Training in sewing is also set to begin soon as part of the initiatives to help women with skills which they can use to earn an income once they return home. Juliet's Vessel NBC News, Katima Mulilo.